Hi, my name is James Heenan. I'm the head of the UN Human Rights Office in the Occupied Palestinian Territory. Uh, I'm here in Brussels for some meetings with partners, uh, but I want to take the opportunity just to talk a little bit about our office and what we do. Uh, the office has been in Palestine for over 20 years now. We're a large office for OECHR. We have over 40 staff and we're situated in four offices across the territory. We're in Ramallah, in East Jerusalem, Hebron and in Gaza. Uh, our work uh, divides into a few streams. Uh, one is to provide uh, technical assistance to the government of the state of Palestine, uh, along with civil society and, and, and the national institution there, to help them, um, to help the government uh, protect uh, the human rights obligations that it has signed up to. And it's important to know that in 2014 the government ratified seven uh, human rights treaties uh, and this really changed the landscape in Palestine uh, and the government is working now uh, with us and others to turn those rights in the treaties to a reality for, for Palestinians. Second bit of our work is, a, is monitoring. We have uh, a mandate, meaning we have been asked by the international community to monitor the human rights situation and to document and publicly report on violations. We do this in respect of three uh, authorities, three duty bearers, as we say. One is Israel. Israel has human rights obligations in the occupied territories. We also monitor and document violations by the Palestinian Authority and also by the de facto authorities in Gaza. Uh, the violations are things like excessive use of force uh, by both Israeli and Palestinian forces, uh, uh, collective punishment by, uh, by Israel, or forms of collective punishment, uh, issues in detention such as ill treatment and sadly at times even torture, uh, and issues like uh, hampering the work of human rights defenders and shrinking the space that civil society and others have to work through harassment or legislation or, or even arrest. Another part of our work is linked to uh, protection. We, we run what's called the protection cluster, which has to manage the protection response to the humanitarian crisis. The conflict and in the occupied territories is a, is a protection crisis. It's a crisis of violations of international law. The suffering that's caused there is largely because of violations of international law. And OECHR works with about 125, 130 partners to try to alleviate that suffering and also to prevent future violations. Things like making sure that children who are arrested by Israeli forces have access to um, lawyers or have access to psychosocial support uh, to make sure that you know um, uh, when uh, there's a conflict in Gaza there's, 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 there's protection in place in the shelters where people go to shelter from the conflict to make sure that for example the rights of women particularly gender-based violence are, uh, are protected. The fourth uh, area uh, we work <clears throat> is uh, about our legal work. Uh, the, as I said, the, the conflict is very much based on violations of international law and our legal work is very important. So that's, that's a quick summary of what we do in Palestine. Thanks.